thank you archana uh, for that uh, uh, kind introduction that you have already done my topic uh, for today's discussion is cardiovascular disease in women with diabetes my agenda for my talk is uh, the already displayed next next uh previous slide please so uh are women more complicated than men anjali just spoke about the differences in the gender even in the mental health so is there a difference in the cardiovascular disease as well let's look at it next the difference between men and women the way we see ourselves next the among women diagnosis and death rates are steady but among men they are declining more than 5 lakhs women die of cardiovascular disease each year greater than the number of cvd deaths in men also greater than the total of the next seven causes of death in women why atypical signs and symptoms of cvd that are unrecognized underdiagnosed and undertreated in women coming to the indian scenario in 1970s it was 1% in urban india and by 1990 the prevalence of cad reported by chada et al in delhi was 9.7% remarkably high prevalence of both cad and cardiovascular risk factors were also shown in the jaipur heart study heart watch study uh, of which dr arvind gupta is also a part of india is predicted predicted to bear the greatest cad burden according to the estimates from the global burden of disease study there is still inadequate population based data on the prevalence of cad in india particularly comparing diabetic and non diabetic subjects next so diabetes poses a greater risk than any other factor that we all know the premingham heart study women with diabetes had three times more cardiovascular events than the other women with 2.2 times dying from the cvd among diabetic individual cvd mortality is higher in women than men young women with diabetes lose any premenopausal protection so compared to diabetic men who have two to three fold increased risk of uh, coronary heart disease diabetic women are reported to have 3 to 7 fold increased risk next so coming to the risk factors we all know obesity uh, increases uh, the risk of cad into 2 to 3 folds diabetes as we just said because uh, blocks estrogen protection in premenopausal period risk of cad five times and sudden cardiac deaths uh, three times more than in non diabetic women hdl below 58 mg per deciliter correlates with increased sudden cardiac deaths arterial ten- hypertension is also uh, but it is more seen in the in the women above 60 years psychological factors like depression anxiety again increases the risk factors for women uh, which are more in the women centric uh, uh, findings the smoking and history of oc pills important in premenopausal women next now uh, coming to the gender difference in atherosclerosis plaque erosion that women suffer from more of plaque erosion as a cause of acs and men suffer more plaque explosions or rupture as a cause of acs next women have smaller coronary arteries Uh, after correlating for body surface area women's arteries are smaller this can seriously affect symptoms from anything that reduces the diameter that is stenosis and endothelial dysfunction which is more common which can be more common in women the coming to the microvascular which is very important the obstruction of epicardial coronary arteries is the common cause of acs in men whereas the dysfunction of coronary microvessels that can be a cause of acs in women and are not seen usually on an angiogram next 
So CAD usually develops differently in women. As you can see in this cartoon, the men have a focal stenosis and women have a diffuse stenosis as you can see here. Next. Now, why there are uh, challenges in recognition of uh, coronary heart disease or other cardiovascular diseases, mainly the coronary artery disease in women because the chest pain or discomfort is seen like this in many women. They just see as a you know pressure on the chest, unusual upper body discomfort, shortness of breath, breaking out in a cold sweat, unusual or uh, unexplained fatigue, tiredness, nausea or lightheadedness. So these could be the various symptoms in women which are not very often recognized as a uh, coronary artery disease. Next. Now coming to some studies, this is a study done in American uh, uh, and uh, you know uh, source is American Heart Association. So cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death in women. They are compared it to the white females and with black. And in these more the all these causes that are mentioned here, the coronary heart disease was the highest in number in both whites and blacks. Next. This is a Y study, which is a uh, uh, women's ischemia syndrome evaluation published in European Heart Journal in 2006, which found that ab about 50% of women sent home with normal coronaries continue to experience disabling symptoms, possibly due to coronary microvascular or macrovascular endothelial dysfunction. 60, 673 out of 936 enrolled in WISE had persistent chest pain, and they were two times the number of CV events. These women who had two times more number of CV events like uh, uh, myocardial infarction, stroke, CHF, and CV deaths than those without the persistent chest pain. Next. So there are elevated triglycerides, in, uh, which increases the CHD risk in women. Now, for every increase in serum triglycerides level of 89, the risk of CHD increases 30% in men and 69% in women. Next. Coming to the lipid levels by age and sex, here too, there is a difference in women. You can see the LDL, which goes up as the age increases, and men, it comes down. And HDLC, in women, it is actually it's it's a uh, it's better as the age grows goes. Uh, however, there is a difference in men and women. Next, uh, although less frequent, cardiovascular disease also occurs in young women. Very often, it is said that you know premenopausally women are protected because of the estrogen, but more than thirty five thousand women under the age of sixty five die annually in the U.S. because of CVD, as per this study. Next. Now, less obstructive CAD in women undergoing angiography versus men. This was uh, published in 2006, which also says that, you know, pay, pay, women have less obstructive disease, even if they suffer from myocardial infarctions. Next. Cardiovascular mortality trends were also seen uh, more in women as you can see in this red. Next. Under diagnosis of heart attack in women, sex differences when we look, look for them. So do we have you know, difference in the high sensitivity troponin based on uh, gender cutoffs? We don't, I don't think we do have. We just go by the diagnosis of heart attack by symptoms, ECG and blood measurements of troponin, which is common to both the genders. And there is no different thresholds for men and women. Uh, but if you really look for it, there is a difference because women's arteries are smaller. So women were more likely to be misdiagnosed and undertreated for MI. Therefore, sex matters. Next. Virgo, a door to balloon uh, D2B D, uh, study, which shows that there is a delay in young women with heart attacks. So you can see here. 
eight minutes longer to treat in the women as compared to men, and thirty minutes longer to treat in women as compared to men in the transfer, direct treatment, and the, in the transfer. There were in both the uh, sections there was a delay in the uh, treatment of STEMI in the young women. Next, this is a, a get with the guidelines. Uh, study which uh, studied age and gender differences in quality of care and outcomes in the heart attacks in the USA. And then what was found? Quality of care was significantly lower and mortality was higher in young women versus young men. And then similar was the uh, result and the, there was less likely uh, to, the women were less likely to receive ACE inhibitors and ARBs less likely to receive lipid lowering therapy, less likely to have controlled blood pressure and discharge, at discharge in fever, achieving door to balloon time, uh, which, which should be less than 90 minutes. Next. next. Now, uh, as already mentioned by Anjali and others, there is under-representation of women in cardiovascular clinical trials as well. Next. Next. Coming to uh, the different cycles of women, we talk about postmenopausal women. Postmenopausal status is considered an independent risk factor for cardiovascular disease because uh, the hormone therapy no longer recommended uh, to prevent or manage CVD due to increased rate of thrombotic events such as MI and strokes, as well as breast cancer. Men develop CVD at younger ages, but incidence and prevalence equalize for women after the menopause. Next. PCOS, we already uh, heard a lot about this, and PCOS is definitely uh, increases the risk factor of metabolic syndrome, subclinical CVD, as well as clinical CVD in the future. Next. Pregnancy can be nature's stress test on the heart. So high blood pressure, gestational diabetes, and uh, uh, preterm birth, all these are uh, uh, considered as risk factors for CVD. And what can be done? We, we have to, uh, you know, uh, as uh, already uh, deliberated a lot about this, pregnancy has to be considered uh, cautiously with the, with the, especially in women who have diabetes and hypertension and the cardiovascular uh, risks should be minimized by changing their lifestyle and healthy diet and uh, reducing the weight, monitoring their weight particularly. Next. Next. Next, please. Uh, uh, the menopause, as I already said, menopause, uh, you know, increases the LDL, reduces the HDL, increases the triglycerides, insulin resistance, abdominal fat redistribution, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, and vascular endothelium dysfunction. So all these will lead to cardiovascular disease. Next. Um, this is self-explanatory. So this is a continuum of increasing risk factors of CVD uh, 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 when a woman attains menopause. Next. Uh, this is again a study to show that menopause and risk factors of risks of uh, current, uh, coronary heart disease as the age increases, as the menopause occurs, the after the menopause, the cardiovascular disease is much, much, much higher. Next. So now coming to a few uh, comorbidities and addi uh, addictions in women that lead to CVD. Uh, this is about obesity. We, all, we have already talked about that because there is increased risk of hypercholesterolemia, hypertension, and both for or diabetes. Next. Hypertension, very common. Uh, fact, very, uh, I mean, it's most commonly associated comorbidity with CVD. Next. Women with addictions to smoking and even alcohol, excessive alcohol, uh, who can, you know, the, the, it becomes a very uh, uh, notable risk factor for cardiovascular disease. Smoking it reduces the estrogen levels even in the premenopausal uh, stage. Menopause occurs earlier in them, and women smokers have a higher risk of early heart attacks. Women less than 50 years, the majority of uh, coronary heart disease is attributable to smoking. Risk increases with the number of cigarettes smoked 
and duration of smoking uh, as per the us general surgeon's report general's report sorry women smokers on ocps have a heightened risk compared to non smoking non pills users about up to 87 times in heavy smokers so uh, age adjusted relative risk factor for fatal cardio uh, coronary heart disease or non fatal mi or uh, current smokers versus non smokers is significant uh, statistically next mental stress as anjali already alluded to is a trigger for ischemia and women more often than men women had more ekg do documents documented ischemia during mental stress men more during the physical stress women reported chest pain more often during daily activities and mental stress tests whereas men more often during exercise so perceived stress scores ps14 was significantly higher in women 27 as compared to men which was 23.4 before suffering an mi next so psychological stressors in women with chd the stockholm female coronary risk study also showed that among women who were more who were married or uh, cohabitating with a ma male partner marital stress was associated with nearly three fold increased risk of recurrent coronary heart disease events now uh, living alone and work stress did not significantly increase the recurrent uh, chd events marriage or partnership benefits men however next heart disease and breast cancer also has higher risk almost seven times when uh, uh, the cancer patients take uh, radiation and chemotherapy both together will have seven times more likely to develop heart disease or heart failure if received both next now uh, what do we do after knowing all this we need to prevent next weight loss and maintenance is not easy but it is doable when you have a plan primary prevention of cardiovascular disease as a Medi uh, with the mediterranean diet was published in new india journal of medicine next there are uh, various studies which are shown that aspirin trials for primary prevention have not really benefited much thousands of patients have been uh, studied in arrive as pre and ascend studies uh, uh, however the endpoints were not really uh, very encouraging next so current recommendation based on meta analysis and uh, with the recent three trials low dose aspirin might be considered for primary prevention of acvd in select higher acvd adults aged 40 to 70 years who are not at increased bleeding risk low dose aspirin should not be administered on a routine basis for primary prevention of acvd among adults and women above 70 years of age low dose aspirin should not be administered in primary prevention among adults at any age who are at increased bleeding risk including history of gi bleeding peptic ulcer disease bleeding from other sites thrombocytopenia coagulopathy ckd and concurrent use of nsaids steroids and anticoagulants next uh the secondary prevention lipid lowering studies in women so it has to be continued for those who have already uh, have cardiovascular disease as per the advice and the guidelines next so does hormone replacement therapy prevent heart disease uh, hormone that i already alluded to heart hrt at present not recommended for primary or secondary prevention of cvd uh, however if a patient has attained uh, you know a very early menopause and has very uh, severe uh, uh, symptoms of uh, post menopausal symptoms with because of the uh, uh, the, the uh, symptoms which uh, trouble her then the hrt may be considered uh, but generally it is not uh, you know does it does not uh, really uh, uh, help these women the post menopausal women uh, 
with uh, with the hormones next now uh, the prevention primordial prevention of cvd in women has to be known to all of us behavior modification is the key to prevention uh, uh, more than lifestyle management i would say behavioral modification that is required keeping hba1c between 6.5 to 7 and keeping the blood sugar in time in range for more than 70% of the time blood pressure less than 130 by 80 and keeping the bmi near normal as much as possible and difficult but doable if one sees it next to summarize cad in women is common and has important variations in clinical and risk factor profile as compared to men stable angina acs and stemi can frequently occur due to non obstructive cad in women non invasive modalities like treadmill test nuclear imaging stress echo ct angio stress cmr or and invasive coronary angiography can help with diagnosis and management and management should be according to the guidelines thank you very much for your patient listening